I know what I'm getting myself into. And if I have to eliminate girls, bye, bitch. Hi guys, it's Trinity the Tuck, and I cannot wait for you to see what's going on with me this season for All Stars Behind the Tuck. Before Drag Race, life was kind of a struggle, you know, like uh, an everyday working queen. You don't have the resources, so you make do, and since then, you know, life has just changed. I've been to, I've been around the world. I've got to accomplish so many of my dreams. It just feels good. I feel like I've done a lot more than I ever thought I would. I think I'm most remembered for being what people didn't expect. They expected a pageant queen and they got some crazy country over silicone mess. That was fun, I guess. Everybody always mentions Sister Mary Coontz. Penis! And um, they love you know, talking about my tuck, how tight it is. They want me to show them. You show me first. I have always been the most underestimated queen. That's okay. I don't mind proving people wrong. And I'm here to do that again. I'm a competitor. Like, girl, give me a crown, give me some money, I will do whatever I have to do, you know, <laughs> whatever I have to do. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go finish what I started. You know, I want to win, so to have the opportunity to come back for All Stars, it's like, okay, girl, where's the crown? You can only be prepared for a drag race so much. You don't know what the challenges are gonna be. You don't know what they're gonna throw at you. If you feel confident and comfortable with who you are, then you can accomplish your goal. So how do you reconcile that with being a terrible person? I'm just kidding. Um. You're a <laughs> bitch. I think that I didn't show enough vulnerability and to let people get to know me more. And I think that is the struggle I've always had with walls. And I hope that this time around, people connect to me a little bit better. I still feel underestimated by the fan base, by other queens. I don't think that they believe that I can do this. And I know that I can. I wanna be the pageant queen, but I also wanna be the club kid. I also wanna be the fishy queen. You know, I wanna be all of it. And that's uh, that's what I think it's gonna to take to be an all-star. You know, I'm here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to win $100,000 and win a crown. And take my place in the Hall of Fame, honey. So I will do whatever I have to do. Chop, chop, where's an ax? Trinity the Tuck deserves to be in the Hall of Fame because I've worked really hard. I feel like I have changed the most out of any of these girls. And I feel like, you just wait and see. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you.